Sent it seems delivery. the near post. <gasps> that's oh. a brilliant strike, and that's um, Athlone who do take the lead. Okay. I think it might have been Aoife Harren with the snapshot. We'll have that confirmed in just a second. Back to Orla Conlon. Skips inside. Now to Clancy and Lynn Craven is making that run out right. Clancy will go for the strike from distance. It was dipping, but not dipping enough. Ball over the top. It's straight to the head of Della Doherty. Nobody in the middle attacking for Athlone, so it comes to Orla Conlon. Tries to give Tegan Ooh. Lynch a run once again. The flag... Outside? So shortly a shade of offside, but the yeah. flag stays down. Tegan Lynch is now running in on goal. Lynch looking for her first goal, and yes. she has gotten it. That's a great finish by Tegan Lynch. And the Utes are back in this game, certainly. That's, I think, the third time they've played that ball over the top to Tegan Lynch. And once again, it's looked really dangerous. I think, yeah, she does look dangerous down there. She has the speed and everything to get by them. Ellen Malone's going to try and keep it in the danger area, but Myrne Devaney has the strength advantage and should be able to clear this up. She does get away with the help of uh, Lucy Jane Grant. Roster with a strike from distance, but wrong side of the near post. Hit the quicker with their feet or something that they're just saying, right, stand off and don't jump in or you'll get caught out. Yeah, that'll be interesting to watch. Cross just going to chip one through again to Tegan Lynch. She's just be playing first forward. Ooh. That's forced a save out of uh, Abigail Ronane, and it was a good effort again by Tegan yeah. Lynch for Alicia O'Hay. Murphy. Malloy is over the top to Keir Roster. She's stayed outside side and she's chipped it over the keeper. It's going to get it. It's going to. Uh, it's just oh. wide. Kylie Murphy. Back to Clancy. <gasps> oh, picked out Tegan oh, Lynch lovely. so well. And the flag stays down to Adele Kennedy for the strike. Gathered really well there by Abigail Ronane. Quite sure it's marking her, but she will work it out. Space for Kylie. Good numbers back. <gasps> and she'll switch across to oh. Keir Roster. Across goal. And Tegan Lynch will leave it to Ella Malloy for the strike. Heavy deflection, and it's away for a corner. As Keira Roster sends the cross in for Kylie Murphy, heads into a dangerous area. It'll come down to Tegan yes, Lynch. Yes, another one. And she has her second. Nice header. It's Tegan Lynch now with two goals. That was really good strength there from Tegan Lynch. She's got a lot of height from a standard position. Yeah, she had to just leap from nothing. A standing start, as you say. Tegan Lynch comes short. She'd want to make her way into the box, I think. Ella Malloy. She has space to run into. Make the strike early. Oh, what a goal. That's a classic Ellen Malloy Oh, goal. wow. Out of nowhere. <laughs> it's, it's every week with yeah. Ellen Malloy at the moment. That's an absolutely fantastic finish. It's what we've come to expect from Ellen Malloy. Absolutely line it up and have another look at that. It's always a physical game between these two, and I think the referee's done really well. Fancy. Oh, oh wow! Malloy. She on side as well. She has to take it under control. She'll flick it over the top. Oh, it's She's got... just got oh. on it, and that's the second goal for Ella Malloy. Wow! She did so well to get that under control, and she was so confident in her finish. <laughs> Murphy again, then Conlon. It's a good ball. Taking Lynch aim at in the box. Flag says down. Back to goal. Eventually oh. gets the strike on. It'll come to uh, Kylie Murphy. But it's straight at Glacken who gathers it. So it's Roster standing over the corner. The Utes have won from a set piece like this already. Roster. To the near post to Della Darty, but it's gone outside the near post. Kennedy. Oh, really good footwork <laughs> there by Kennedy. And she'll chip it out right now for Kira Bates Crosby. She's got bags of pace and finishing. Wow. Super touch as well by Gearbase uh, Crosby. Sinead oh, Taylor near Sinead. post and she's found at Wexford's fifth. Wow. Look at that electric pace there from Gearbase Crosby. Absolutely fantastic. Really good she's control from Sinead Taylor for the finish. So look, another player of real talent in the South Lone side. There's a lot to like there for anyone watching the game. Glacken just gets enough on it to find Grant. But that pass is misplayed totally. It'll come straight to Sinead Taylor. <gasps> oh. And that's a lovely, oh, wow, lovely finish. Well Cracking goal. senior goal for Kira Bates Crosby. <laughs> Very well taken. <laughs> really well taken. A lot of players won't do that. That is super by Kira Bates Crosby on her seventh appearance, senior appearance for the youths. 
Absolute cracker. Send it to Ruster. This time Fiona yes. Ryan's gotten beyond the fullback. We'll take the cross early. It's Arriving is Kimmy Crosby for a second. Yes. She's done it. Wow. Kimmy Crosby <laughs> will be absolutely thrilled with that. And that's another really good Brilliant. finish. Great cross from Fiona Ryan there. Super stuff there from Kira Bates Crosby and Fiona Ryan too. There's two of your academy players linking up well. Took on the cross early and it was absolutely perfect for Kira Bates Crosby arriving and a really good finish too. Yeah. To make it goal number seven for the youths. She's on a yellow Roshi Malloy, so I think uh, the ref's a bit hesitant in giving in. That explains it. And she'll credit the referee absolutely for that. Here's a good through ball to Kira Bates Crosby. <gasps> Ooh. She's <laughs> miles away. <laughs> Full She's the one over. Definitely. Aiming fancy is right up there as well. Yeah. For me, I'm going to give it to Ellen Malloy.